May the peace of God be upon you all. Can we hum the song as she reads the obituary? It is an honor to read this theology of my Rangwan who I've known for only a few years, but she has made a very big impact in my life. Kebi Emmanuel Ramotwana Mapadze, Musia Mutobadze, affectionately known as Kebi to all his friends, colleagues and comrades, was born on the 31st of December in 1962. His parents were Everista Mota and Victoria Mapazwe. He was the seventh out of, the, of nine children. Kebi attended primary school at Kokha and in 1976 later attended school in Everton at Mukotoji Primary School. His high school education was at Lebone High School in Soweto and later he completed his high education studies in Maseru Lesotho. After having finished matric, Kebi worked as a clerk at Shawela Clinic. Kebi's life, like so many young people of his age, was shaped by the racist oppression of the apartheid regime. The events of the student revolt of 1976 and the subsequent heightened resistance to apartheid deeply impacted on the political consciousness of the young Kebi Mapate. As a student, he became involved in the Congress of South African Students, COSAS, and he was also a member of Soweto Youth Congress. Because of his political activism and outspoken opposition to apartheid, he was targeted by the apartheid regime and was forced to eventually leave the country of his birth and go into exile. In exile, KB formally joined the African National Congress, ANC, and became a member of the Liberation Army of the ANC, Umkondo Wisizi. He underwent training in Angola and also received specialized training in the German Democratic Republic, GDR, the former Soviet Union, Soviet, Soviet Union and Cuba. During his time in exile, specifically in the MK camps in Angola and Uganda, he was known as a highly committed soldier of MK with a clear and unwavering political consciousness. Kebi returned from exile in 1992. His life in political activism was shaped by a deep concern for his fellow MK veterans. He became the leading champion of MK veterans and military veterans in general. In December 2007, Kebi was elected onto the National Executive Committee, NEC, of the ANC at the 52nd National Conference of Polokwane. He used his position, he used this position to advance the cause of MK veterans. KB was also very clear that while MK liberation fighters had played a central critical role in the liberation struggle and the subsequent achievement of democracy, they have not received the recognition that they deserve. He was deeply concerned that the integration process of MK liberation soldiers into the South African National Defense Force SANGF and the South African Police Service, SAPS, was flawed and unfair to them. He made it his duty to address this issue and to correct it. In this regard, Kirby was throughout an ardent supporter of instituted re-ranking processes for what became known as the non-statutory forces within the, S the SANGF and SAP SAPS. He always ensured that MKMVA, once it was formed, gave, it, gave its clear support for and was, set, was centrally involved in ensuring that these re-ranking processes would eventually succeed and that justice will finally be done to MK veterans who dedicated their lives to the achievement of our liberation. KB's commitment and insistence that MK liber liberation soldiers must receive their full, do their full dues in the democratic dispensation that, became, that came 
after the 27th of April in 1994 elections led him to play a leadership role in the formation of Mkonto Wesizwe Military Association, MKMDA, and was formed by MK veterans. He was always clear that MKVA was formed by and for MK veterans in order to advance their own cause and the rights that they are entitled to. Similarly, KB played a central role in pushing for the establishment of the De Department of Military Veterans, DMV, and also the overall representative structure for military veterans in South Africa, namely the South African National Military Veterans Association, SANMVA. -S Together with MKVA, KB also played a central role in the drafting and eventually an eventual adaptation of the Military Veterans Act, Act 8 of 2011 that legalized the rights and military veterans that, legal, that legalized the rights that military veterans are entitled to. The adoption of this act and the establishment of the Department of Military Veterans, DMV, during the administration of President Jacob Zuma represented great strides in the struggle for recognition and full dignity of MK, MK veterans and military veterans in general. In 2014, KB was appointed by President Zuma as Deputy Minister of Defense and Military Veterans. A critical part of his responsibilities was the Department of Military Veterans. He remained Deputy Minister of Defense until 2019. After the 2019 national elections, KB returned as a member of parliament and was a whip with specific responsibility for the Portfolio Committee of Police. KB remained throughout his life a remarkably humble, loyal, and a loyal member of the African National Congress. He was deeply committed to forging principles unity in the ANC. No matter what the challenges, he remained, he always continued to implore on his fellow MK veterans to simply remain loyal to the African National Congress. Thus, KB accepted with discipline and dedication the resolution of the 54th National Con Congress Conference of the ANC that unity must be forged in the ranks of M all MK veterans and also convinced the rest of MKMVA leadership to accept the resolution and to advance its implementation. Together with the senior leadership of MKMVA, Kirby worked diligently with the Peace and Stability Subcommittee of the ANC NEC to ensure that the preparations for the Unity Conference of MK Veterans were put in place with integrity and democratic representativity. Great strides, great strides were made and it should be possible to hold an MK Unity Conference this month in September. On the basis of that excellent work to which Comrade KB made such a leading and definitive distribution, contribution. Throughout his life, KB remained fully committed to the liberation ideals and tasks of the ANC. Under his leadership as president of MKMVA, he took strong and principled position in defense of the historical liberation task of the ANC to bring full liberation to black, especially African South Africans. KB was a true liberation soldier who undertook, who understood the meaning of comradeship and camaraderie. He lived, his, he lived this in his jovial, warm, and comradely relationship with his fellow comrades. KB was a man of faith who loved God and his church deeply. And with everything that he did, his life as a leader in the St. John of Apostolic Church of Prophecy was, was characterized by principled dedication. KB is survived by his wife, Lerato, whom he married in 1995. The five children, Mary, Victoria, Nitaonolo, Tabiso, and Neo. Five grandchildren, four brothers, three sisters, and his nieces and nephews. Kebi passed on quietly in his sleep on Tuesday on the 31st of August, 2021, at the age of 58 in his family home in Mayastal. He will be solely missed by his family, comrades and friends 
for whom his remarkable life will continue to be a source of inspiration and dedication. Hamba Gatlin Point. Thank you.